Hey, welcome to DIY Prop Shop. I'm Dustin and I'm taking your suggestions on what props I should try to recreate here at the house using everyday materials. So I'm gonna show you some of my tips and tricks and some of my DIY techniques. Let's get started. All right, today I'm gonna make the ghost trap from Ghostbusters. This is a rad prop. In the movie, they contain a ghost in their streams and then they lock it down into this trap. I've actually made one of these in the past along with the proton pack and I've got the whole flight suit with the sweet custom name tag and everything because I'm a huge Ghostbusters fan. But you guys have been asking me to show you how to make your own DIY version, so that's what we're gonna do. So it's essentially just a rectangular box, which makes it fairly simple. But what I like about this is that this thing is like all about the details. So just getting them just right uh, is gonna be really fun. So I picked up some stuff from the hardware store and I have a few miscellaneous things here that I think I'm gonna use. It's way too hot to wear the suit all day, so starting with taking this off. I think I'm gonna start with this box. Save your boxes, you know, if you get a package in the mail or whatever, you might find a box that has sort of a similar shape. This is close enough, so I think if I just cut it along the top, that basically gives us our entire shape that we're gonna start with. So I'm just gonna take this box and kind of try and get the overall shape by drawing some lines on there and making some folds and sort of gluing it into place. Um, you know, I'm not using accurate measurements here, I'm just kind of looking at the picture and getting the overall shape. So if you have a box that's closer to the right shape, that'd be great, like a shoe box maybe, but if not, you gotta shape it and kind of force it like I'm doing. All right, so I'm forming the new top of this. So I'm just thinking ahead at where like the doors are gonna be that open up in the middle. So I'm just leaving like a little bit of an edge and I'll have a nice hole and I'll add the doors in after. All right, so I'm just lining some of these edges with some tape, just kind of has a nicer finish to it. All right, that's the basic shape. There's a piece that sticks off the top of one side and off this other side, so I'm just gonna make those out of cardboard and glue them on. I think I'm gonna just draw this pattern out in uh, one piece, so then the whole thing can kind of fold, and then I can just attach it that way. There. <laughs> just have to hold it in place, and I'm gonna cut the sides right here. Okay, before I attach this, um, a couple things. I'm gonna add an extra panel on top of here and a little rectangular hole. There's kind of a red light. Uh, mine's not gonna blink or anything cool like that, but if you have something like a clear piece of red plastic or something that you could just cut and put in there, that would work. I'm gonna try and just use a red marker on a piece of white paper and cut that out and put it in here. All right, so before I glue this into place, I'm gonna go ahead and just paint these two pieces black and then sandwich the red piece in between them. All right, so I already had a bunch of this stuff, but it's 99 cents, it's flat black paint. Before I attach it, it's important to make a big hole in the side of this box so I can glue it on, because later on, if I try and put a light in here, I wanna make sure it shines up and hits that red. Okay, I just had an idea. I think I'm gonna spray the inside of all of this with shiny silver paint. That way, um, when we put a light in, it'll be really reflective on the inside. All right, so I already have some leftover silver paint, but these are usually about four bucks. All right, so I'm gonna build up this little shape that comes off of this side now, which is pretty simple. Are you getting tired of cardboard yet? Here's a cool trick when you're working with cardboard. Instead of doing a ton of really precise measurements all over the place, you can use the lines that are in here, the existing perforation, and kind of just use those as basic guidelines since this doesn't all have to be totally exact. I'll just count out like one, two, three, four, make a mark, and just use the existing lines. See, so I just shaped that whole thing without making a single measurement. All right, so now that this is glued on, and I've got that shape, I'm just gonna take a plate of cardboard and trace it so I know exactly where to cut it and it will just fit right on. All right, well before I glue this into place, I wanna put the little light and the little switch on here. I don't have actually a red light, but I know I have some plastic stuff and like old, you know, pieces of rubber and things. So if you wanna find a light to put on there, that's cool. See if anybody remembers these. It's like for holding your laces together. I've had this since I was like 12 years old, but it's the perfect shape. It's not gonna light up, but it'll look like a light. All right, for the little silver switch, I just found this old like Allen wrench. It probably came with some furniture. I'm just gonna poke it through right here. Yes. So we got a silver switch and a red light. Okay, so I gotta paint this black before I glue these into place. Looks pretty good. 
So I'm gonna use um, some small casters. Those are just little wheels. Looks like there's four of them along the bottom. I have a bunch of these. I just ripped off a piece of furniture. Those are the perfect size. Now you can save these off of old furniture, but um, you can also just buy a pack of them. This was five bucks and it was just these four casters. I'm gonna just cut holes and glue them right in. Alright, so it's time to make the handle. I'm gonna make it out of PVC pipe, which is super cheap and easy to work with. So, I bought a short length of this. This is half inch pipe, and this was 60 cents. And then I just bought one um, T-joint, which was 35 cents. And make sure you get the kind that is the slip, not the um, screw-on kind, because we wanna just pop it right on here. So I'm gonna cut this to the right size, cut a hole in the box, make sure it goes all the way to the bottom, probably, so I can just really glue it into place so that the whole thing is really sturdy. All right, before I glue this into place, I'm gonna just saw this off right here. Now, the reason I didn't just buy the right angle joint is because it's really rounded. I don't think that'd be the right look. All right, so to um, attach these into the joint, I'm gonna use this PVC glue. You could honestly just um, put some hot glue in there if that's what you have, but um, this stuff is really sturdy, so works good. All right, so I'm gonna put caps on the ends here just so it's not hollow. There's a really easy trick for this that I like to do, which is just use old plastic, and then you can just trace it, and then super glue it right on there, and then it will just look nice and solid. All right, so now I'm just gonna make the flaps that open and close out of separate pieces of cardboard. I'll just add a bend right into the cardboard and then glue them right up inside there nice and solid. I'm gonna add a little extra strip of tape just to really hold this in place on the inside so this doesn't end up ripping off later. All right, so that's looking pretty cool. I think I'm gonna do a coat of black paint on the whole thing, but first I need to mask off some of these colorful pieces um, so I don't paint over those. Okay, to the paint station. All right, so that is the black paint. So I just gotta take the masking tape off and then I'm gonna add on the side panels. All right, one of these panels on the side looks like kind of a heat sink. It's got some ripples in it. I don't have anything that really matches that look, but there's a cool thing that you can do with cardboard. You can actually peel off the top layer and expose it and then you've got some nice ripples. Um, so I think I'm gonna try that and it should look pretty cool. All right, two side panels, oh wait, two side panels and a back panel. Now I'm gonna spray paint these silver. All right, there are these two little kind of pipes on here. I don't know what they are. Um, you could do a couple different things. There's PVC pipe, but that seems a little bit thick. You could even just use some old markers and just kind of cut the ends off and glue those on. I have this tube left over from when I built the Terminator arm, and it's called PEX tubing. It's half inch. Um, when I bought this new, it was $2. So I'm just gonna cut pieces. All right, so once again, I already had this red paint. It was probably $4. All right, now I'm gonna find a bunch of random knobs or knob-like things that I can kind of um, attach on here. This is actually an old, I think it was a cap from a perfume bottle. I saw it in the trash and uh, couldn't let it go, so I'm just gonna glue it on. All right, I have a um, silver Sharpie, and you can just get these at like an office supply store, and I'm just gonna draw some little details on here so it looks like the metal. All right, so there is this really specific shape that goes on this one. It's kind of like a little brass heat sink or something. I was gonna try and find just some random piece of junk in my junk box that I could just spray paint kind of gold and um, glue on here, but I'm not finding anything that works, so I'm gonna make a custom little thing for this using popsicle sticks, and I'm just gonna stagger them and kind of cut them in half and um, just sort of make the shape totally custom. Okay, most randomly specific piece of anything I've ever made on the show. All right, so by now you can probably guess where I got this paint and you can probably guess how much it cost. All right, there's a couple custom like labels on here. Uh, you can make them really easily um, just in Photoshop or a Word doc or like a Google doc or something. So that's what I did and I just printed it out. Here's a cool trick if you wanna take something from being regular paper and make it look more like a sticker or like it's laminated. I like to just take some clear tape and just laying it across the top of it nice and flat and then cutting it out. 
sweet. All right, there's a lot of miscellaneous screws on here, so you can use a lot of old screws. But just to get a little fancier on here, I noticed that these have special screws, which are called socket cap screws. These I can only find in packs of two, and they were 69 cents a pair, so I bought a handful of them. Sometimes they do sell these in black. Um, I can only find these silver ones, but here's a good trick. It's just line them up on something, and then just hit them with some black spray paint. If you have pointy screws, you can probably just screw them right into the cardboard, but I'm gonna just use a punch. It's just like a sharp, sticky thing. Poke a hole, pop it in with some glue. Looks heavy duty now. All right, I'm gonna do the stripes across the top in yellow. Um, you could use some paint, but you could pick up a yellow tape too. This is yellow masking tape. It was $3 and it's actually the perfect width. All right, so you could totally just stop here and be done. It looks really awesome. Or you can take it one step further and add a cord. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, so you could use like any old cable or wire that you want on the back of this, but I found this, which is totally perfect. This looks exactly like the movie, and this was $3 for this whole thing. And then through these brass fittings, I totally don't know how much these cost because I just had a bunch of them, probably a dollar or two, and they look really awesome. And I have this one that actually fits in here. I think I'm gonna spray paint this one silver. I'm gonna poke a hole all the way through to the inside and just like really secure it. Aha. Looks awesome. All right, so one last thing that you could do just to really make this fancy is put some LEDs in it. I got this little tap light, so we could just kind of stick that under the red part. And then I found this, it's like a whole LED bar. Just stick it right inside there. That way you've got some light. <laughs> Who are you gonna call? All right, well that is my DIY ghost trap. Oh, I need to wear my suit, hold on. Oh, okay, that's better. Well, I spent about $15 on this whole thing, but if you don't already have some of the paints and some of the materials, you can still build this whole thing for about $25, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, let me know in the comments what other builds you want to see me try and make, and if you build any of these yourself, I'd love to see them, so be sure and tag them, DIY Prop Shop, and maybe at some point I can feature them here on the show. And be sure and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, and I will see you guys here next time. I ain't afraid of no ghosts.